Hello everyone. Welcome to my professional attire. Whoa. In this video you're gonna watch a lot happen. In this video you're gonna watch me spend a lot of money. This is me in the future. So I have saw what past Maxine just did and I'm not happy with her. Keeping track like this is very eye-opening. Let's get right into it. Monday. Monday, you there? Good morning. Well, I, it's literally not even close to morning. It is a uh, 2.29 p.m. This video, I'm going to be tracking what I spend in a week. It is about to be very, very scary. You know that meme we're like saying when people are like, you leave the house and you spend $100? No, more. Today, I went to Costco to get my tires torqued. Like, it's not a real thing, guys, but whatever. Free. So I've so far spent $0 and I did try to go and get food because I was hangry. It's like 2.30. Um, but I didn't and thank God because we got food at home. Ew. It's been a zero dollar day so far. So let's keep it up. Hard and uh, should have brought it up ages ago, but Suki and I are thinking of making a change. Okay, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I just got back from my little walk where I'm like, let me, it was sun, it was sunny when I left. Not sunny anymore. And I was like, let me just go for a walk. Me walking around with this, literally a leak. Y'all ever seen one of these? I have never made risotto before and today is the freaking day. I got a leak, $2.99. She charged me 25 cents because I didn't have cash. Three, 24, oh, yeah. It's all in here, okay. Arborio rice. We need to learn how to pronounce that before I go to Italy. Um, this was $6.49. I went to Granville Island, which is like a specialty market. So if you're like, these are expensive, that's why. And then this is the best pasta shave ever. It's like bent rigatoni from the brand La Mosiano. Like it's cut. La, Mos La Molisana. Okay, this was $3.99. And then I got chicken bone broth from the stock market. Uh, wait, I just like got that little joke. The stock market. So this was $8.50. So I'm gonna put the tally somewhere because I'm gonna do it off camera, but that's what happens when you leave the house, babe. You buy leaks and you walk around. This is sticking out of my bag. I look like a freaking Cabbage Patch Kids, which obviously I love, but. Okay, this is what we call the witching hour in this house. It's 8.42 p.m., but I'm online shopping, girls. Okay. <laughs> I have really cut back online shopping because obviously I'm going away. But one thing I don't have, which is a pair of waterproof boots, which is very... I don't, also don't have a waterproof jacket. We're getting to that later this week. So anyways, I've needed a pair of rain boots for a while. Me justifying this, I bought... I'm going to buy some boots. Let me show you the ones I have picked. I will be ordering two pairs and returning one. Okay, so this price you see also, if anyone, this is not sponsored, but Honey, this little attachment on your computer, I'm sure you guys all have it because every podcast ever sponsors it, but it just found me $65 off. I'm, I didn't have to do a thing. I think I'm going to buy these and then I'm going to return them if I don't like them. <laughs> Tuesday day check-in. It's almost 5 p.m. We laid low pretty, we, oh, is this the first time I'm talking today? We laid pretty, we laid, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. We laid pretty low today. I woke up, I went to Pilates. That was a charge. I get it through class pass, doesn't matter, it's still gonna count it. It was 10 credits, which means it was $20. Add that to the tally, whatever, whatever side you go. On. And then on my way back from Pilates, I stopped at the grocery store. Oof, you can never keep me away for a day. I go every day. And I bought, well, I wanted to buy a bag of onions. Not, literally, not even a crumb for, the, for a mouse. So I bought two giant yellow onions instead and eggs. And I did buy 12 eggs now. In my one of my past videos, I definitely said I would never, ever, ever buy more than six. Sometimes it's all you got. It's all they have. So that came up to... I don't have my phone, but I'll put the exact total, but I think it was like $6 or something. The eggs were like four something. Bought the cheapest ones. Um, 
And then the onion, I did have my first felony of the day. I stole one of the onions. And you know what? I am actually... I did not mean to do it. I'm such a narc when it comes to self-checkout. I was talking to my friends about it the other day. Like, I have never entered the wrong thing on purpose or, like, skipped something. Like, uh, uh, no. I'm just way too proud of it. I'm like, it's not worth, like, saving $2 on an onion. You know what I mean? So... What, what happened was, and if no frills, if you're watching this, this is my alibi. It's the most exciting thing of your guys' day, listen to how I stole an onion. So what happened was, was holding it to read the barcode and punched it in, and then it weighed only the one. And so when I put the second one down, it didn't care. It had the one, and then I took them both off, looked over my shoulder at the security guard, we made eye contact, paid, and left. So total is about $26, and I will, tonight, will be going somewhere where I will be paying $6 in parking, just in case. I don't talk to you guys. So that's my average tally. $40 a day isn't that bad. <laughs> I ate lunch at home. I'm making a huge pot of, st of, oh my God, not soup. I'm making a huge pot of sauce right now because I have leftover risotto and I'm making arancini. Like, is this a five class dining restaurant? Yeah, I've never made it before. That's why I bought the eggs. Should have said that and the onion, onions, onion, onion. So yeah, we're doing pretty good today, guys. Tuesday's looking good. I'll keep you updated if I like buy gold in the evening, but I don't think that's happening. Okay, spend check. I went shopping today, it's a beautiful day. Oh well, first I went to Pilates. This class was eight credits, so that's $16 at the tally. It was a beautiful day, so I went shopping and I did so much good self-restraint, you guys. I feel like because I'm making this video, it's also like keeping me accountable because I'm like, I cannot go in that freaking living room and show them a $300 vintage Celine shirt that I found in the thrift store. A thrift store consignment. So I didn't buy it, but um, I went to look at glasses. I have a pair of glasses coming, but it's taking so long. It's been almost three weeks now and I just can't, like I'm so impatient. So I had on some glasses, didn't buy any, obviously. Um, I also went into a store that had a pair of winter boots that I really liked. I'll insert the clip too. They were like brown with a pink sole. They're so cute. But if you guys remember, I already have two on the way. So I didn't buy those even though I wanted to. So just so you know, that's called restraint. Before I show you what I bought, we actually made money today, ladies because, and gentlemen, because it was such a beautiful day and I parked my car. I drove to the area I wanted to shop in. I parked my car completely forgot to pay for parking just pranced on on for three hours i was shopping for three hours i realized that at the end when i was walking back because i was like oh that's weird like my parking app didn't tell me to extend my parking i feel like i've been here for a while it looked in a pack for that like eight block radius i'm like i have a parking ticket if you guys know me you know or you believe parking police need to get a job okay or as i famously say one or two friends to do other things with other than giving people tickets literally get a life and a job but we love them now because apparently they did get a life today no one found my car and ticketed me and because i have gotten a parking ticket before i know it's 70 dollars if you pay right away which i always do because i'm a narc so in my head and in my universe and in my world we made 70 dollars that money left my account and then came back to me that is extra that's not, that's extra money, okay? This is how my brain works. Wait till you see me return clothes. To get the boring stuff out of the way, I went to get an oil change, first of all, and everyone sit down for this rant. Those men love to see me and my bows coming. I swear to God, they clear the shop and they're like, she's here. The things that they try to brainwash me with of what I need, they are so, I am so lucky. And they are unlucky that I have a father that loves me and that I can call any time of the day and be like, do I need my transmission fluid changed? I did get an oil change though, which I get, I do once a year. And even then I'm like, this is a fake thing, but whatever. One of my biggest fears is like something happening to my car in public. That's I just obviously so embarrassing. So I do do the main, the minimum maintenance, $118 and 70 cents add to the tally. Okay. I went to the consignments. Well, it's not, it's called front and company. You guys are in vancouver it's like a consignment store but they have new stuff and then like designer stuff but i got this denim jacket it's from clavonico not like that really matters but i'm really into this dark 
denim. And if you guys have been here long enough, you know how I feel about long sleeves. These sleeves cover like this much of my hand, which is absolutely unheard of. I don't need a denim jacket. And so when I bought this one, I have to sell the other two I have in my closet, which I'm gonna do after this. I think it, 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 on the price tag's $44.99, so it's probably like $46. Do you get the gist? And then I got necessity truffle salt. Obviously not a necessity, but my friend Paige made this with popcorn and it was so, 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 so good. And I was on the hunt for it and I saw it at like a nicer, like bougier store and it was 25, oh, that store was Whole Foods, sorry. Um, it was $25 and I was like almost buying it because I'm like, is this how much truffle sauce is? salt is? This was $12.99. Actually, let me triple check that. Oh, it was $14.99. Still better. So add to the list. Add like what, 60 cents for tax. Kind of an expensive day because of the Mr. Lube situation. Could have been worse, as you know. I ate all my meals at home. Oh, I did get a tea out. Could have lied about that, but I'm being accountable. I did get a tea, you guys. I got, and this is actually crazy, but... um. It was $4.60, which maybe that's normal, but like literally it's leaves and hot water, but whatever. I got it because I brought my book that I am reading and obsessed with, and I like sat outside and read my tea and read this, and I'm like, you, you are literally living in a movie right now. <laughs> Just kidding, it was actually embarrassing, and I sat there for like 30 seconds, and I was like, this is super cringe, and kept walking. Wednesday, looking good. <laughs> what's up guys it's this is your thursday day check-in very exciting i did go to america and i did go to target and trader joe's so let me show you before i go into all the groceries i also did go to pilates today it was twenty dollars it was a 10 credit class which is twenty dollars and i hate doing that math because on class pass i'm like oh my god it's only 10 credits that's like i don't know what that means <laughs> and then i'll make myself do the math because one credit is a dollar ninety nine anyways so we're starting with twenty dollars <sighs> so i just got some of my favorite stuff and th but this is new the trader joe's sour cream and onion flavored rings lentil and rice snacks i love anything sour cream and onion this it's this the best the corn dippers everything but a latte again if you're american you guys are like we know but this is exciting to a canadian these are new i've never seen these before uh jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs these are my favorite i buy these every time i go freeze dried strawberries they're like the strawberries inside special k which is the only reason i would ever eat that cereal these rice crisps savory i like to have gluten-free stuff on hand because i do have some friends that are gluten-free unfortunately for everyone involved um oh i forgot to put this in my cart tikka vegetables just like a heat and go meal. I really like these artichokes for some reason. This was a really rogue thing. I got raisins because I've been making my own trail mix. I want to go buy, I don't love raisins, but sometimes in like a handful of nuts, you need something to like mix it up a little bit. I went up to the grocery store in this country. A bag like this would not kidding be like $17. It was so expensive. So these were either $2.99 or $3.99 American, obviously. That's still like six dollars. So got raisins for my trail mix. The best almonds in the world, in my humble opinion, the uh, Marcona almond rosemary flavor. The bomba, Italian bomba hot pepper sauce. Cowboy caviar to go with the everything but a latte chip. Okay, I found my yellow onions. I was like, I can buy these in Canada and it'll be pretty much the same price, but look at how perfect these look. <laughs> They're like, someone took a freaking protractor and made the perfect circle five times i'm obsessed with these little tiny um tomatoes bone broth i like to have this on hand and again so cheap dill pickle mustard i actually got this for one of my friends who loves it because i'm leaving in a month you guys so i was buying all these things like looking at the expiration date making sure that like all this stuff well most of it is good until 2026 which like let's not even think about that sweet potato gnocchi I have mixed reviews about their pasta in the bag situation, the frozen ones. I've tried all of them. I've tried the President's Choice ones, the Canadian ones. These are the only ones I like. I don't know why, but are not squash ravioli. Uh, this is something that I put back and then picked back up again because I know I could make this, 
but like might as well just buy it for $2.99. Look at the shape of that. Never seen those before. Excited about that. So excited about this, you guys. I found thinly sliced chicken breasts. I am going to have a redemption arc for chicken cutlets because I also watched Melissa Gorga, obviously you should all know who that is, TikTok on how she makes hers. And she puts everything in one bowl, like eggs and everything in one bowl and then breads them with a fork. So she doesn't touch it at all. So I'm so excited to try that again. Chicken, uh, cheddar, sausage, yum. I bought this unexpected cheddar. I feel like I'm, I don't really ever buy cheese, but I was in the cheese section and everyone came by and grabbed just this. And my girl, Madalena, pretty sure that's her name, um, Mor Moro. <laughs> and you might wanna sit down for this next sentence. Moro from Cake Boss's Wife, I follow her on TikTok, and literally everyone should, is obsessed with this cheese and she talks about it all the time. Had to get it. The three layer hummus, I love this of theirs. These are my favorite things to pick up. Rainbow carrots. You guys know I love my carrots. Uh, yeah. And the last thing I got are these banana, chocolate covered banana frozen treats. So my total, let me just show you on my, or tell you on my phone. All of that that I just showed you was $117 at Trader Joe's. I think it was like, that's 86 American, which I know. I feel like that's really good. Like I could not get all this stuff in Canada for that price. Before I go to Target, I also filled up my car and it was 74.30. I don't know why I remember that. It was 74.30 Canadian. I meant to fill up in the States because again, it's so much cheaper. Gas is so much cheaper in the States, but I completely forgot and I was too late. This is where, listen. Listen, 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 listen. What do you know about down the hatch good olds? They're just so good and they're so easy and they last forever and they're on sale. These are protein mac and cheese. So there's 15, 14 grams of protein in each box. Obviously I eat the whole box. I bought these and when I was cashing them out, they were $11 and I buy these, I've bought these before. Sorry, these are the Momofuku noodles. I've bought different flavors before. I've never tried this one. And I always just feel like they're just okay. And so when I was cashing them out and I saw they were 11, which is like 14 or $15, I'm like, ah, but whatever, they came home with me. I went to Target specifically looking for a product that they don't, didn't have, and I'm pissed about it, but it's the, and don't let me forget this, Omsum noodles, you guys. They're so good. I, like this was a dollar acetone nail polish remover. This is the other thing, you guys, the makeup section in Target, I was, blown away by the prices canadians you know the pain of shoppers drug mart the absolute audacity that shoppers drug mart has this i'm not kidding would be ten dollars i'm no word of a lie like 8.99 this i i go also google things is so like i can buy this here but this was like 3.59 there or something like that on sale and at shoppers it's 12.99 so got the got to be spray i love this stuff and i'm out i need to buy it anyways I saw my um, Fit Me, like why are things so expensive here? I don't, and don't actually answer that because I don't want a life lesson. <laughs> but I, let me just complain about it. The Fit Me powder that I use, it is I think like 23 or $24 at a Shoppers Drug Mart, which obviously is like, are we in a Sephora? What's going on here? And it was in the freaking Target for $8.69 or something. I took a video because I was like, like I was moving things because I thought it was $18.69. I couldn't believe they didn't have my color though. But then I started searching for like my normal products. This is my foundation that I love and use. It's like serum. This is normally like 29 at Shoppers and this was 15 USD. So probably like around 20 or like 18, way better. Voluminous mascara. I haven't used this in so long. I used to love this stuff. I had to Google what the difference, carbon black and then black is black. So which one is it? Guess what? Carbon black is darker than the black is black. And yes, that pissed me off when I read that. And then we don't have this product. I'm looking for a new portable brow lamination situation. Love that that rhymed. We could have it and it just wasn't in my shopper's drug mart, but um, excited to try this. So that's my, oh, and then my total for Target was 70 USD. And I think it was like, I think it was like 96 because I remember walking away and being like, what did I just buy? And then you guys, I thought about not telling you about this. <laughs> But we're gonna be honest here in this video. Just realize maybe someone's waiting for me for Marketplace because I'm selling a few items right now. 
like I said, I contemplated not telling you guys that I bought this because I really don't need it, but I wanted it. I saw this when I was shopping yesterday and I was reading through it. I'm like, that's so interesting. And I remember seeing this on my parents' bookshelf and I was like, maybe I can ask them if I could borrow it. And so I left it there because it was $34. It's a book. And then I thought about it all night last night and I was like Googling if I could find like a free PDF and I'm like, just buy the book. Um, so I went on Amazon instead of supporting this cute small business I was in. It's like, okay. Why not? I'm so excited to read this. The reason I didn't buy it right away was because I, as most of you guys know, know I'm taking a wine course right now and I have a literal textbook that like when I was flipping through, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember learning about this, but it's just so nice. And I have a textbook and I'm like, why don't you just read that front to back? But like, obviously I don't want to read an ugly textbook. I want to read a fun book. Add that to the tally. Oh my God. Okay, let's get to selling stuff because I need my budget to come back up a little bit. Hello everyone. I just realized it's Friday and I have not checked in, but that's solely because I have had my myself sat in the house because yesterday I sent a little bit too much money, but I did go to Pilates this morning. It was Ooh, a 12 credit class. So that's $24. But that's all I spent today. I am on my way to my friend's house for dinner. So saving money on that. We are Ubering though because I will be drinking some red wine. My total will be like $30 for the day. I feel like that's like the lowest I can go. I did get my new glasses in the mail. First of all, I can see. Like I'm looking at my apartment and I... <sighs> there it is. I'm nervous to show people because what if they don't like them but then i'm also like if i like them that's all that matters so i'm trying to solidify my thoughts on them before i wear them out i tried them on in the store and loved them but i was also like full face of makeup and like hair done so i wanted to make sure i like them when i look like this and i think i do i'm scared to ask for comments because again i need to decide if i like them before i care what you guys think <laughs> you know what i mean okay we're gonna go. Third dollar total. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. Class is in session. I have my laptop here. You can't see because I don't know how to do a frame, <laughs> but you, you know that by now. I went through my credit card statements because I have multiple credit cards, probably shouldn't. And I wrote out everything that I spent. And let me tell you, I am disturbed to say the least. We're gonna break it down cost by cost. I'm gonna put it here, probably, hopefully. If I know how to edit, it, I'm gonna put it there. Before we get into the analysis, my Saturday, I don't think I checked in with you guys Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, I did not do one single thing because I did the math of what I spent and I stayed home. I ate my freaking niblets or whatever I forced myself to eat so I didn't order Uber Eats. Saturday night, I got an Uber and I did buy a drink at the bar with for my friends which was $58.02. So with that being said, let's just go through it. The first category, which I would consider this to be a necessity, but like, I guess it's not. Uber and parking. So this is me getting around town all week. Actually not bad, $35.79. Kind of surprised that that was that much because I felt like I walked a lot this week. $35, no problem me being like, it all adds up, but that's no problem. Now this next category is what really got me this week. Okay, shopping. Now, I spent $520.26. This is especially high because as you guys know, I ordered two pairs of boots, which hate them both and I will be returning both. So that was my shopping category. My car, this week for some reason I decided to get all my car stuff done. So I would normally spend $0 on my car, but I spent $192.92 on my car this week, which is crazy. And then food category, I spent $150.37. That's including my TJ's, my Trader Joe's groceries. So I don't think that's, I don't think that's that bad. I like to keep it around 100 or less. A lot less but it was a special event i went to america whatever in my entertainment category the only thing i have on here is when i went to the bar with my friends i got us a round of drinks it was 50 58 dollars and two cents that's fine usually a lot higher so we did save some money in this department okay and then my last category is pilates but i guess it should be category categorized as like wellness 
Uh, I spent $82 on Pilates last week, which, <sighs> One of those things like that's so much money that's like when i went to the gym my membership was like 30 dollars a month but then i didn't go and i hated it so that's just a cost that we are going to rinse and launder money launder if you will obviously just kidding i have no idea what that means there's also a few things in there like i remember i did laundry i took track of how much that was so i'll add like anything i missed in here as well and everyone drum roll please my total for the week was one thousand and $39.36 Canadian. So, I'm embarrassed about it. I actually had contemplated when I ran these, when I crunched the numbers, um, contemplated not even putting this video because I was so embarrassed by my spending. I try to budget as much as I can and I make sure not a day goes by that I don't make money back, okay? There's always something you can sell, babe. Like, I'm looking around in my cabinet, there's seven things in there I can sell right now. Like nothing's safe. Everything's like jittery in, in my apartment, just waiting for me to put them on the internet for absorbent amount of money. Anyways, this is just a little insight into a week of my life. Obviously sometimes I spend way more and sometimes I spend way less, but hope it was interesting to you. It's way more fun watching other people spend money, obviously. I need to reel it in a little bit. I think my car doesn't need to get an oil change. I think they are lying to me actually. So that's my conclusion of this video. And that's what I'll leave you with. Okay, bye.